Stage one TVC checkout's running. And now you'll be able to see the Stage 1 engines gimbling or tilting, as you see, while we're completing those final thrust vector control health checks. Stage 1 is on internal power. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. direction over the Atlantic Ocean. Our next ascent milestone is max Q around 80 seconds. Karen, what is supersonic? Get to one switch over at the ground station. Max Q. Indicating Terran 1 just made it through Max Q. We just completed a major step in proving to the world that 3D printed rockets are structurally viable. Up next, we'll be looking for a call out that stage one performance is nominal. And upper stage ignition. This means that we had a main engine cutoff for stage one, and directly following that, we had second stage ignition, which you can see the Aeon vacuum engine in that beautiful view in the night sky. Reminder there is no fairing for this maiden launch as we don't have a customer payload, but we do instead have a memento of the first ever circular test print. We are currently standing by for an update on what's happening with the Stage 2 engine.
I also don't cut down. This is the LD. There has been a T plus anomaly with stage two. LC, please begin anomaly procedure section 25. Copy. As you heard from our launch director, we did have an anomaly with stage two during flight. But maiden launches are always exciting, and today's flight was no exception. Although we didn't reach orbit, we significantly exceeded our key objectives for this first launch, and that objective was to gather data at max Q, one of the most demanding phases of flight, and achieve stage separation. Today's flight data will be invaluable to our team as we look to further improve our rockets, including Terran R. Our team will now carefully analyze this data to determine what led to this outcome. So stay tuned to at Relativity Space on Twitter and RelativitySpace.com for additional updates in the days and weeks ahead. And with that, we will conclude our coverage for tonight. I am Rachelle Aniceto. It has been an honor. And I'm Arwa Tazani-Kelly. Thank you, and see you next time.